everybody, what's going on? It's Alan and Miss Helen Fong herself. We thought we'd drop by here real quick just to show you a quick one of our uh, workout sessions for shoulders. And I know we're at the gym right now and you're like, oh, what, what about the home routines, Alan? Home routines. You can do this at home. You don't need a machine. We just happen to be here to work the machine on the machine. Yeah, <laughs> the machine, the machine. So, hello, here, ladies. hello ladies. So here's what we're doing. I'm gonna flip this camera over real quick. Just give me a second. Yeah, I can do it. And all we're doing is Helen's going to do a single arm, which again, you can do at home. Now you're going to notice real quick that this is really light and it's <laughs> supposed to be, but it's actually not because they're eight pounds a piece. So eight pounds plus the machine itself, it gets, it gets pretty horrendous. And you're going to notice that here in a sec. What Helen's going to do is she's going to tighten her abs. She's going to push her feet into the, into there. That's going to push her back into the seat. And then she's going to lift with two hands. So bring it up and then let go of one arm, slowly control. Bring it down with one arm and push up, up, there, one, there you go. And what she's doing is she's using her abs, she's using her legs, and she's keeping her upper body upright, which is real, there you go, it's hard to do. All right, notice how she's only doing three because it's tough. It is actually really tough to do. Yeah, focus on it, focus here. Keep that tight, keep your abs tight, shoulders tight, nice. Very nice. And what we're doing is we're just simulating a home routine. Now this you can do at home. You don't need the machine, folks. We just happened to be here in, at the gym, so we thought we'd use the machine now while we can. That's it. When, once you get exhausted, just stop. It's okay. Whoa. That's it. That's it. Very nice. Very nice. That's so sexy. Nice. Good. Good. Yeah, but use two hands to lift it. Two hands. That's it. So what we're working on here right now is we're working a bit of the tricep. Hard to breathe, I know. Up, right there. And we're only going to the 90 degree mark. Once she surpasses 90 degrees, it's too hard at this point to lift up. Still keeping the abs engaged. Still pushing the shoulders back so she's not twisting her body. She's flexing her legs. You can't tell because it's in black, but she's flexing. And she's pushing her feet down. Keep the head straight, head straight. That's it. And she's putting all that tension into the shoulder and into the trap muscle. It's super hard, that's right. Good job, good job. One more. That's it. Good. Time. Time, time, time. Cut. Okay. Very nice. So a lot folks, of usage here. Yeah. So what we wanted to do is just share that with you because, again, you know, it's always nice to have a gym and we have gym access, but not everybody does. And that alone was already, I mean, you can tell how tough that was, right? Yeah. Like, tell me real quick, like, what did you feel when you're doing single arm? Well, of course, you have to, when you're single arm, you have to use a lot of abs and you use a lot of your... Um, lower body to be in balance so you don't twist or, or, or off balance but that's not what you want right so when you pour a balance push to your, your feet to the to the floor or whatever something you're on but use it and then uh, tighten your here when you tighten here the rest of your easier right but if you're off it's really hard to do right you don't want to do that so the core and uh, the lower body have to be engaged at the same time very important All right Right. Now, for those of you that are at home and you're like, well, how do I do this if I don't have a machine? Well, recognize what this machine is. The machine is literally just a seat, yes. the weights that are attached, the weights that are attached to a bar, right? So it, imagine that this, this water bottle is, let's say, a 10 pound weight. So Helen, to make sure that's stuck on so it doesn't spill on you. Okay. If that was a 10 pound weight, she would just do the exact same thing. You'd be lifting up and down, right? And that's literally it. But Obviously, you'd still have to engage the core, tighten the legs, keep the shoulders pressed, and only move that arm. You do that, and you're going to start to notice some nice development in your shoulders, which a lot of a lot of females want. They want that, like not broad, but like the the, the like what Helen's got, right? She's got the leaner shoulders <laughs> that slims down to like the smaller waist. For those of you that want to have a smaller waist, this is what you want to do. Everybody focuses on just making the smaller waist, which is smart. But if you focus on building the shoulders, it accentuates the, the small image of a smaller waist. And in closing, that's exactly what you want to go after if you want to make this look smaller. Still work the abs, of course, but work your abs and work your shoulders as well. And this is one of many ways that you can do it. Okay? Have a nice day, ladies. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, everybody.